What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. We're going to be bringing you a little bit of comic news. But before we get into that, let me just mention, on February 1st, we have our merch drop coming. We have awesome sweaters coming, hoodies coming, with us animated on them. We're really cool. I'm a giant cow... I'm just a cowboy, actually. <laughs> and I'm a giant yoked guy. <laughs> <laughs> and can't wait to show you guys. It is first come, first serve on all the sizes. So get it while it's hot. And uh, we also have some more comic content coming for you guys. It's going to be pretty exciting. We have some sneak peeks of how to grade some comics and some other really cool topics. Don't want to get too much into it and spoiling it, but I cannot wait to show you guys. So let's just jump into some comic news. All right, I got three comics for you guys this week. They're all number ones to look out for. Not all of them are the greatest thing ever, but you can always add them to your collection. Yeah. Yeah. So first one I got up here, I think is more collectible because, I mean, who doesn't collect Rick and Morty? Oh. It's always collectible. I love reading We Rick got Morty. Rick and Morty Maximum Crescendo, number one, coming January 30th. Ooh. This is the villain, hopefully I'm saying it right, Concerto? Concerto? Sure. And chicken skin dog skull. <laughs> All right, chicken skin dog skull. I haven't read any of the Rick and Morty stuff. I've only watched the show, so I don't know a whole lot about it. But I know all the Rick and Morty comics go for at least more than you pay for them. Newsstand price. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, they it's just a spinoff series. Well, not necessarily spinoff, but they just run around and do their standard adventures, but in yeah. comic book. A form. lot of it is stuff that's mentioned in the show that you'll never see just offhandedly mentioned. Yeah. We'll just be in the comics as like back lore kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's fun. They're always entertaining. Uh, second one I got is DC Power 2024 number one coming January 30th. This is the second annual Black History Month comic from DC, spotlighting all the black superheroes they have. Okay. And just highlighting them all out through the month. And what was that called? Uh, DC, what did I just say? DC Power 2024 number one. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is the second time they've done it. I think they did it in 2023. Now they're doing it in 2024. I don't know how the 2023 one did, but these are always collectible way later down the Oh, line. yeah. So this is going to be a... I wonder who's doing the art for it this year. I didn't write it down, but... Let oh, us know I in the comments. But I can't remember. Yeah, you guys let us know in the comments or something. Yeah. Tell us who it is. This is definitely one you're going to want to grab and then just hold on to it for a while if you're going to resell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be like a 10-year down the line Connectors. collect every year version of it. Kind oh, yeah. Of thing. yeah. Uh, last one I got... Absolutely collectible. Power Rangers Unlimited, Ooh. the Morphin Masters number one, coming January 31st. I love Power Rangers comics. Everybody loves Power Rangers, and they always sell out. It's always a nostalgia thing with the 80s kids and everything who grew up watching Power Rangers, and it just it collides. It works. It does. It's great. <laughs> uh, this follows the events of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 116, which is where it cuts off, and the events of the Darkest Hour. Oh. I don't know what that is because I haven't read it. <laughs> I think it's going to be the death of the Rangers, bro. The death uh, of the Red Rangers. All I saw was there's a new person coming in that we all know, but I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> it just said new person coming in that we know. I was like, okay. Okay. Yeah, but that's all I got for that. Make sure you pick up that one because Power Rangers are always collectible. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, Disney's releasing a new comic, Lilo and Stitch number one on January 31st. It's got the superstar writer Greg Pak, who wrote all the Darth Vader comics that have been coming out in the recent years. And he also did the Mech Cadet series that just took off out of nowhere recently. That's a weird resume to have to go from that to Lilo and Stitch. And I cannot wait. Um, the reason I think he's doing it is because Lilo and Stitch's life have calmed down a lot over the years. And now, out of nowhere, evil aliens have decided to attack the planet. And they're okay. all wearing mech kind of suits or super suits crossed with Stitch's DNA on the inside of it. So they're getting off Disney and more into a little more action. With yeah. Lilo and Stitch. yeah. Okay. So I'm, that's what I'm thinking. It'll still be cartoony than Super Lilo and Stitch vibe, like animation and drawing style. Okay. But I cannot wait to see where they go with it. I think that'd be pretty to cool. See what it is. Yeah. And then uh, you guys know Kid Cudi, right? Yep. Uh, he's got a new comic coming out, actually, called Moon Man Number 1. And the description of it is, Whatever went wrong on that failed moon mission? What really happened to those missing minutes of footage? Those minutes? Those missing minutes. 
they that's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> they hold on, they hold an earth shattering secret. And it also has Kyle Higgins, who was the writer, I believe, of Radiant Black. Okay. Which that comic blew up out of nowhere. I mean, I didn't I had no idea it was coming out, and then all of a sudden it's a four hundred, five hundred, six hundred dollar comic, and yeah. it's like, woo! All right. So this should be a collectible. I mean, it's got Kid Cudi, pretty famous musician. Yeah, usually if they partner up with any celeb, it, it'll sell out. So that should be pretty cool. I mean, he does a lot of art, too, so I feel like yeah. he's going to have some of his own art in there. Fair enough. But that's all I have for comic news. Thanks for watching our comic news segment, everybody. We have merch dropping February 1st. There are these awesome hoodies with us animated on the front of them. He's a Western guy, I'm a big jacked guy, and the rest of the team's all there too. Make sure you get those February 1st. First come, first serve on all sizes. They're very high quality, and we'll be showing them off on the streams we're going to be doing throughout the week. So check those out. But we'll be back next Monday with more comic news. Mm -hmm.